These questions are the free response questions from the 2018 AP Calculus AB exam. And questions number one and two represent the questions from the graphing calculator section of this exam. So question number one says, people enter a line for an escalator at a rate, and that's important to note that this is a rate, at a rate modeled by the function r given by r of t is equal to this polynomial function from zero to 300. And then after 300 seconds, we have a rate of zero. So there's no people entering the line after 300 seconds. So again, important to recognize that this r of t represents <coughs> a rate function. It says r of t is measured in people per second, uh, people, in, per, people per second and t is measured in seconds. As people get on the escalator, they exit the line at a constant rate of 0.7 persons per second. Now this represents the rate at which people leave, and that's gonna be leaving, so we're gonna make sure that we recognize that that's a negative 0.7 people per second. It also tell us, tells us the initial condition that there's 20 people in the line at t equals zero. So I'm gonna let n be my number of people, so n of zero equals 20. Okay, so that's the initial condition, so it's important to recognize that. Question A asks, how many people enter the line for the escalator during the time interval 0 to 300 seconds? So the number of people that enter the line is going to be the number of people, the positive number or the positive change in the number of people that we have. So that positive change is going to be the area underneath the rate function. So this is my R of T graph. This curve represents R of T, and the area underneath R of T is going to be the change in the number of people. So to do this, we could, we want the area underneath this curve. Now, technically, we could expand this polynomial and integrate this. However, we don't want to be doing that because that's going to be a lot of work, and we don't need to do that because this is on the graphing calculator section. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph this function in our graphing calculator, and you're going to end up with this graph over here. And what we want is the area underneath this graph, because the area underneath this graph represents a change in the number of people over that period of time that we're looking at. So we're going to integrate. So we're going to go into the Calculate menu. This is the menu for TI-84. And under TI-84, we're looking for number 7, which is the integral, the integral of f of x. So I've highlighted that in blue. When we choose that, the calculator will ask us for a lower bound, or left bound. Our left bound is going to start at 0 seconds, and it's going to then ask us for a right bound, and our right bound is going to be 300 seconds. And what it will do is it will find the area underneath the curve from that left bound to right bound, and that area we're going to calculate to be 270. What that means is, since the rate is people per second, the area underneath that curve is going to represent the number of people increase. So that's going to be positive 200 people, 270 people have increased in the line. So the number of people that entered the line for the escalator during that time interval 0 to 300, so the number of people entering is going to be equal to positive 270 people have entered the line from 0 to 300 seconds. And again, we, we want to graph this and we want to use an integration function on our calculator to find this area. For B, it says, during the time interval from 0 to 300, there are always people in line in the escalator. Okay, so that means that our, the number of people never drop below 0. How many people in the line at t equals 300? Well, the number of people is going to be the starting number of people plus the number of people that we added. Okay, so the starting number of people, we need to go back to our initial position. Our initial value. And at t equals 0, there's 20 people. Okay, that was given to us in the problem. Okay, we highlighted it up here. n of 0 equals 20. 
So if we want to find out the function for the number of people, it's going to be the 20 people we start with plus the area underneath that rate function, which is the number of the change in the number of people. Okay, so this rate function essentially represents a change, or the area under the rate function represents the change in the number of people. Now it does say that there are always people in line for the escalator, and we should note that the although at the very beginning we're actually losing people because this area is below the x-axis is negative we're actually losing people out of the line so we starting with 20 we're going to lose people we never and this area is actually not less than negative 20 so we have to we could check that on our calculator but we can also trust that this area is never under negative 20 that would give us to less than one person under the uh, less than zero people in the line which is not possible okay but the question does tell us that that is the case so we're going to assume that that area and we can again we can calculate if we really want to but we're going to assume that area is greater than or is greater than negative 20 so we're always going to have positive people so if we want to find that the number of people in line at t equals 20 well we can use this n function so n at t equals 300 we're going to start with 20 people. We're going to add the change in the number of people, which is the area underneath that curve, starting with at 0 all the way to t equals 300 underneath the r of t function. And maybe I'll change that to r of x dx. Okay, just we really should have a different variable in here. Okay, so we'll call that r of x dx. Okay, so then what I want to then work out on my calculator is the area underneath the curve of the rate of people entering and leaving. Okay, so this is going to be, and I have forgotten here that I have to subtract the number of people. So I'm going to subtract from 0 to t a, the, the leaving function. So we'll call that L of x dx. Okay, in the L of x dx, we've established as negative 0.7 peoples per second. So we're going to subtract that as well. So minus 0.7 dx from 0 to 300. Okay, so what I've done then is I've drawn this as one function. So I've combined this as one function, and that one function we've drawn in here as the r of x function minus our 0.7. And underneath that function then represents the rate of accumulation minus the rate of leaving. And we get this graph that looks like this, okay? And again, we want to make sure that that is le greater than negative 20 to keep us above 20, pe above zero people. But essentially what we're going to do then is we're going to calculate this value. So n at t equals 300 is equal to my starting number of people of 20 plus the area underneath this curve. That is, works out to be, when I work that out, I want to find the area from 0 to 300. And I get a net area of 60, although some of it's below, some of it's above the net area is going to be positive 60. So that net area, I'm just going to add as 60 people. So the number of people at t equals 300 ends up being starting with 20. We add an extra 60 more. We have 80 people at t equals 300. If we take a look at the mark scheme, for part A, there's one mark for the integral and one mark for the answer. So I, I, sh I did forget to write the integral here. So we want to say that the change in n is equal to the integral from 0 to 300 of r of t dt. Okay, and then the number of people is, three, is 270 for that. So that's our two marks there. The two marks here represents the considers the rate in and out. So we have done that with the yellow. And then we calculate the answer. The total answer is 80 people.